All right. So this is going to be a, um, a new creepy little ghost haunting that's going on. Um, this isn't going to be a reaction video. I just watched it. I thought it was well done. It was pretty good, whether it's fake or not. So I'm going to upload it to Facebook. Here we go. When the lights go out. Abud Hernandez Alvarez claims that his apartment in Mexico City is extremely haunted by a vengeful female spirit. Now for over a year he has been documenting the terrifying encounters that he says take place in his apartment on a daily basis. On Nuke's Top 5 I've featured his continuing strange story several times. So let's take a very quick look back. Abiud has had some chilling physical encounters with the spirit that haunts his apartment, including the disturbing sound of high heels walking through his home when no one else is there. And he has even caught the apparition on camera. But oddly enough, up to this point, the specter has only appeared in the reflection of mirrors throughout his house. Once so in his bedroom mirror. There it is. There she is. And then again, the ghost was caught on camera in a mirror in his living room. <laughs> First, when this began in early 2020, Abiud said that he didn't mind the mild paranormal occurrences around his home. In fact, he said that he simply found them intriguing, but not necessarily scary. However, since then, things have taken a terrifying turn. The haunting in his home has become much more violent and extreme. And at this point, Abiud says that the strange experiences and loud sounds have become so intense that he can't even sleep at night. Abiu recently uploaded an all-new video where he documents a supernatural experience in his home. The late-night encounter is absolutely terrifying. That's what power's on. Anytime his power goes out, there's no paranormal activity just like really strong. So, if this one off, you grab his flashlight and his camera, and he's going to look around, he's pretty scary, he's going to catch something or hear something. It happens all the time. That's why it's very good. Maybe it's a one-time, and it's not going to be one. One-time.
power just came back on. So that means she's gone, according to this. Abby would experience a power outage in his home, which is mentioned in previous videos often occurs when the supernatural activity becomes very extreme. So he grabs his camera and starts to record. He experiences a few chilling events, but then he once again hears the loud clack of high-heeled shoes on his floor. The footsteps seem to be coming closer and closer. When Abiu turns around, he is shocked to see the horrifying figure of a woman, a woman who seems to be creepily smiling back at him. Oh, I just got the apparition disappears into thin air, and soon after, the lights in Abiu's apartment come back on, and he cuts the camera. Now, after carefully reviewing and enhancing the footage in this video, I discovered another creepy event that most viewers didn't even notice. Even when the video is brightened and slowed down, the strange occurrence is still a little hard to make out. This is cool. So, did you see it? This is really cool. There's a teddy bear sitting in a chair in the corner of the room. Mm -hmm. But when Abby Ud pans toward a mirror, the teddy bear is not there in the mirror's reflection. Isn't that then, as he crazy? pans back toward the chair, the bear is still there though it seems to have shifted into a different position. This is just seconds before the terrifying apparition of a woman is caught on camera. So, just what do you think happened to Abiud Hernandez Alvarez in this Mexico City apartment? Is he capturing real paranormal evidence of a terrifying haunting? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Caught on CCTV. <sighs> Pretty crazy, right? I just watched a, uh, a video this morning of like a, a young guy who's either in his like late 20s, or early 30s, and he, he kind of like, you know, preaches the word of God. Um through YouTube videos and whatnot. It's pretty cool, and he's, he answers a lot of questions that people have about, you know, demons and spirits and, um, you know, other religions and shit. It's really interesting. <clears throat> and uh, the video I watched this morning was about, what was it called? Spiritual Spouses. And um, it just means that a, you know, a spirit, um, a demon, will um, attach itself to you um, like marriage, right? And so, you know, usually it's, I don't know, I guess it's usually, you know, like in my situation, it would be, uh, some type of female demon. Is that even a thing? I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, so it, it happens whenever, um, you're doing stuff like watching porn or you're having sex, um, before marriage, um, adultery stuff, all that stuff opens the doors for it. If you're having dreams about having sex a lot and, um, and it like feels real in your dreams, then most likely you're, <laughs> according to him, you're having sex with a, a demon of some sort or spirit of an evil spirit. And, um, it's not good. A lot of people don't even realize they're having them or they're attached to one until, until, you know, watching this video or whatever. So, um, it was pretty interesting. So now I was thinking of like all that stuff. I'm checking off all the boxes. Okay. Don't do that, 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 that. I think I'm okay. But, um, yeah, I just watched the whole video. And then at the end of the video, he, um, he did a, a prayer out loud. Um, which I like repeated in my head. I guess that's what I do when I pray. I don't really talk out loud. I just talk in my head, right? And um, did it. And as soon as he said amen, I got like a huge, huge rush of emotion. And like big old knot in my throat. My eyes started getting watery. And I'm like, what the fuck? What's going on? What is going on? Why am I... Why am I so sad? It took me like 10 minutes to like, I don't know, just like snap out of it. It was so weird. I don't know what that means. It could be all in my head. I'm thinking it's probably all in my head. Um, 
but it's just strange no matter what and you know makes you think you know did I have something attached to me or whatever and then saying the prayer you know it left or or what who knows but crazy so I thought I'd share that all right